with uh, cables that we're using today, you lose a lot of the power, transmitted power over the core, uh, distance of a few hundred kilometers. In order to be able to exchange this type of electricity, send one north and the other south, we need uh, cables that can transport power over long distances very efficiently. And that is best done with di direct current power cables, HVDC cables. And this is the technology that we're working on, and specifically the insulation around these types of cables. And this is best done with cables that indeed can transport power in either direction. That is very similar to a USB cable, which is also a DC cable. You can plug a device into your computer and charge it. And you can also use that device to charge your computer, essentially. So you can shuffle power either direction. So that is a perfect to link power grids that are otherwise separate together. I, I think like with so many of my colleagues, I first uh, stumbled across the field that I'm working in today. I was um, working with plastic for the first time and I realized that this is an, uh, a type of material that has tremendous possibilities. We already use it today in many different forms not always wisely, you know, we produce far too much um, plastic rubbish, but we can also take the same materials to create marvelous new materials. With our research, we're uh, focusing on this um, thick white layer, the insulation layer of a cable, and we're focusing on designing materials that have uh, better mechanical properties, better electrical properties. Power cables that are being used today, they use um, the most advanced uh, technology is using extruded insulation, and this extruded insulation is based on polyethylene. This is in principle the same material that you would use to make a shopping bag. These materials unfortunately melt at a rather low temperature. And that, um, that means that at the high operating temperatures of a cable, somewhere around 70 to 90 degrees, the material will become too soft. So what you do in practice is that you actually cross-link this material. It's very similar to working with a type of epoxy glue, where you permanently, covalently cross-link uh, these or cure these materials. Unfortunately, this uh, chemical process of cross-linking actually results in byproducts. These byproducts are bad for the workers in the factories that make cables. They're actually rather hazardous. Uh, on top of this, these um, byproducts are also uh, they also diminish the electrical properties of the insulation material. We actually try to have come up with ways to not having to cross-link at all. And um, uh, we came up with a rather simple solution. We actually took a high-density polyethylene, which we added to the insulation material in very small amounts, about 2 to 5 percent, and that was sufficient to increase both the electrical and mechanical properties uh, quite uh, drastically resulting in a much better insulation material, which I hope in the future will find uh, traction in the industry out there. The best cables are operating at about 640 kilovolts, so 640,000 volts. The ultimate goal that is actually a goal that the uh, Swedish industry together with uh, different universities has set is to reach a million volts. So, we call this the one megavolt challenge. My, my group uh, consists of uh, roughly 15 people, uh, both uh, PhD students, postdocs, and also one uh, permanent researcher. We're then involved in a number of uh, different projects. In principle, every PhD student has his or her own research topic. Some of them working, are working on insulation materials today. The reason why I decided to um, focus on this research is because I feel I can really make an impact. I can help to develop something that will in the long run uh, make the life of my children and their children easier. Nothing would make me happier than uh, standing with them one day at the coastline here in Sweden and um, we're looking at some renewable energy installations, maybe some wind farms and, uh, and some power cable that is coming out of the sea and I can tell them uh, that I, that I actually helped to design parts of this system.